welcome to Big Sister. I hope you guys are having a wonderful first day of 2024. Wow, I think 2023 went by so quickly. I can't believe it's 2024, but okay. Anyway, thank you guys for being subscribers to my channel. Those of you who are not, do consider subscribing, look around, see the material that I do have. And if you've been watching for a bit and you've been getting some good, you know, good advice or just, just been interested in my content, please consider subscribing. So guys, I want to talk about this video that I saw. It was on, well, I saw it on, um, it was another channel and they were talking about a TikTok video that was going around where women were saying men are not natural providers or protectors and that women are more so the providers and the protectors simply because women carry the baby, women give birth, women are more caring, the body produces naturally the, the milk that's needed for the child in early phases and etc. Now, there was a lot more that was said there, but the basic gist of it is just that men are not natural providers and protectors and that it's the, the whole idea also is that women are more protectors and they're the ones that's doing more in the communities and everything like that. So I'm going to give you my opinion about that. And what I believe is that number one, the reality and the experiences that women have or certain women will have with some men is going to be based on their community, their upbringing, all of that. It's depending on the type of men, the community that they're in, how they're being raised, how those men were raised, is going to really be the experience that the women will have with these type of men. As I believe there are women who will say men are not providers and they're not protectors, there are also an ample amount of women who will say women are protectors, women uh, who will say men, correction, are protectors and men are providers and they speak very highly of their fathers and brothers and they're not brainwashed but these men have protected, provided, and they are loving, okay? Uh, so. In my opinion, it depends on your upbringing. If you really pay attention, look at the, the background, I would I would say to look closely at those who is who, the ones who are saying these things. The same thing when you have a man who's just a man who or men who are just bashing women. If you really go through the weeds and look in their background, you're gonna see that they had some issues. Either they did not have good relationships with their mothers or they had bad relationships, they were hurt by women or they were raised in somewhat of a misogynist household. So it would be the same thing with a lot of the women who are this way. If you look in their dating history or their past, you'll see that they were either abandoned, abused, or rejected by their fathers, or their fathers mistreated them. They were raised in a patriotic, patriarchal sort of um, household where they the women were being disrespected and the men used a lot of their power and their strength to abuse said women and so therefore normally if they're in this community and this is the norm they're going to have that mentality but most of the times you will find in their history they were not treated well or if not they were bullied and abused by their fathers or male figures in their lives and then they go through their lives choosing subconsciously choosing men who have the same uh, characteristics and therefore they will say men are not protectors or providers okay so i would say check your background check your history a lot of times these people are speaking from their own hurts their own pain i'm not saying that there are not men who are not protectors and who are not providers but when we think of it if they're saying they're not naturally protectors or providers i mean i can agree to disagree because number one, I will, I will say no one is naturally, well, let's put it like this. When we're born, our bodies are naturally going to take its course for whatever you are. If you're a female, you don't have to do anything for, you know, the natural developments that's going to come from the time you begin your, your fallopian tube to begin, begin to release those eggs for a monthly period, your body begins to prepare for you to be able to have children. That happens in time. You begin to develop breasts. You get you you go from being straight like one of the boys to having your curves as your hips, your, your hips prepares itself for you to be able to carry a baby. That's why women have hips, okay? And the softness of a woman's skin, all of those things. 
that begins to happen naturally okay the physical aspect of it the same thing for boys when they're younger the males their their voice is just as high as the little girls and they're just as weak but as they get older they are going to their voice is going to begin to change their atom apple comes in they begin to develop sperm it's setting them up their bodies naturally is preparing them to be fathers and to be able to be um, to give their seed into, you know, to a woman. Because men carry the babies first. You do know that. They carry the sperm. They carry that seed first. Okay? And then, of course, they begin to develop muscle and mass because they need the strength and the speed that's going to need for protection and to help and to be able to hold heavy things and to be able to, again fight against someone who is of equal strength maybe greater but the bottom line is for protection so these things happen naturally but as far as everything else on what it means to be a man and a protector or provider what it means to be a mother and a provider and all of that those things are taught okay so no men do not just grow up to be they it's not naturally in them, I believe, from a baby to know, okay, I'm going to be a husband, I'll be a protector. No. What happens is there's, there should be someone in their lives who is going to pattern, who they will pattern and emulate. And so if they have a, a father and they have examples around them of being a protector and a provider and seeing it and not someone who just says it, but does the opposite because you know there are a lot of people who like to give advice but they don't live it okay so when they see it and they're taught and they have examples of it along with their character being built and knowing the difference between right and wrong you know those lessons that we're going to learn don't touch say thank you excuse me please thank you no yes sir yes ma'am uh no ma'am no sir these things along with our own life experiences paired with the cultural norms and the things that you're taught and the examples that you see this is what's going to lead you to become either a, a protector a provider or not okay and it's the same thing with girls it's not a natural thing just because you get pregnant by default does not mean that woman is going to just be a protector it just so happens that women will carry the babies it just so happen that when there's a pregnancy the woman is going to be the one that's going to carry she's the one that's going to be delivering the baby she's the one whose breast will begin to produce milk but it does not always mean in her mind and in her head that she is truly a provider a lot of the responsibilities that falls on women is because you have to do it right it's because it just automatically falls in your lap and you just fall into line with it but not every woman does that. There are women who abuse, there are women who are abusers who don't take care of their children, who they, they exploit their children, you see? So it is not a natural thing. It's something that's taught that woman has to have a role model, maybe her, her mother, and see what it is. We learn different things from our mothers, how we conduct ourselves, how we care for ourselves, how we deal with other people whether it's cooking cleaning whatever they teach us that's how you learn you learn by watching the older women with the little children you see them patting the baby so then you as a little girl you begin to go up there and pat 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 so there no one whether you're a man or a woman in my opinion you're not naturally a provider you're not naturally a protector as women okay what it is or as a male it's what you are taught and depending on what you were taught or not taught depending on your upbringing is going to be the deciding factor in how you move forward, okay? So I don't think it's fair for anyone to say um, men are not natural protectors or providers. And if you really think about it, if you know, there's a lot of little baby videos and things that we see now. You see how little boys, if mom and dad is hugging, the little boy will go up there and push daddy away from mommy. That's a natural instinct in him. If someone was is it, you see little boys, they're tiny. If someone pushes his little sister, he'll go over there and he's going to move the person from his sister. Little girls do that too. Mommy gets to daddy, she pushes daddy 
pushes mommy away from daddy or whoever she's favors at that time and if someone is hurting someone or even touching her toy and she doesn't like it she's going to go and take it away so there are some things that are instinctively within us as humans human nature and then those things have to now be molded through guidance through teachings and when you don't have those things and if you weren't taught you didn't have a father or mom or a person that did well now you're going to have to get those lessons through all the various resources and other people who are actually good examples so my opinion is women don't do this you know going and saying men are bad and they're not this or they're not that because i feel like if you have children you have nieces i'm sorry you have nephews you have brothers you're talking badly about your little nephew coming up you know a lot of the times as i said a lot of these examples and, and a lot of these mindsets that these women will have will be based on their own their own experiences and also what would the world be like if if men are if men are not protecting if think about it think in terms of the united states okay whether it's land air or sea this country can be invaded okay and they'll be invaded by men who they're not questioning their masculinity. They're not countries, communist countries, etc. These places, they're not sent down having these conversations. They can easily take over. But there are lots of men on the front line. Imagine if there were no men and it was all women. Ladies, they will come in here and defeat and take over this country. Because whether, even if you're standing behind a weapon and you're firing, the strength of men and their speed is unmatched it's just what it is so even if you are you have strategic planning and you you know how to do a warfare and planning and organizing you cannot beat men if they a bunch of men invaded this this country right now by land sea air and they start to come in and open your doors you know who you're going to be looking for the same men that you're talking about Yes, you may have your guns, you may have the stuff, but that's not always going to be enough when it comes to invasion, when it comes to things like that. Men have value and you have to just respect that. We have to respect one another, just like there are men who don't respect women and they talk bad about them. And as I said, when you look at their history, they have been hurt by somebody, someone abandoned them. They had a bad mom, a mother who wasn't there for them, all these different things. But at the end of it all, we need one another and we all have our own uh, things that we bring to the table that keeps everyone balanced. So men, not all men, do not use a brush and just say all men are this way. Not all men are this way. There are men who provide, there are men who protect, there are men who are raising their families, there are men who have not left their family. I know some, I'm related to some, I see them, been married many years, all these different things, taking care of their household, going to work strong, doing all these things, and happiness, okay? And I've also seen unhappy couples. That's, that's, not, that's not something that I'm gonna say is unreal, but women, we have to be careful who we're listening to and you have to just consider the source and remember that anyone, when you listen to any group of people who say all men or all women or all black men or all black women or all Asians, when you hear this, all white people, you already know this is not a rational person, okay? This is someone who has had some bad experiences and they are now blinded, okay? And now they just, they're speaking from a place of, they may make some sense, but because they have this wound there and a bitterness even, they're going to paint everyone that way. It's just the same thing if somebody was to say, oh, I hate all black people because of this or that, or I hate all Indian people because when I went to this establishment, they treated me this way. That trauma, that experience caused them to begin to think all of them are this way. And that's just what it is. And I would tell you as a female, there is nothing, there is no one more mean than how a woman could be. While women may not use the force of brute strength all the time, very rarely, women can get you psychologically, okay? Women know how to play those head games. 
what you think about when you were in school, how it was being a girl, how the other girls treated you. Did you have problems with the boys or was it the girl? Who was the girls? Who was teasing you? Who was bullying you? When you're at work, was it your male co-workers that were the problem? Which they can be. But what happened when you had that female boss? What happened when you had those female co-workers who were being messy? Explain the on the on just the the out of the blue jealousy that women can have like a mother could be jealous of her child a, a sister jealous of her friend uh, of, of, of of her sister there is just this way that women can be that to me the level of damage that they can do through the psychological head games is worse than 10 armies of men so it's not a man thing and it's not a woman thing it boils down to the character of that person. It boils down to their upbringing. And it boils down to whether or not they're willing to do the work that's necessary to improve themselves in cases where they were not given the tools to be providers and protectors. So this is my view about it. I don't agree that all men, men are not naturally providers and protectors. I do respect men. I know there are men out there who are no good and they have had some some they've done some evil things uh and one of the things that they said too was that oh you know men have to be protecting women from other men who's supposed to be protecting well let me tell you something any day of the week anytime if I'm in danger and a man is going to hurt me I will gladly accept and I gladly respect anyone who can stand up and who can protect me from said male because that's the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is that there are very dangerous men who are walking around who does not care, who are have the brute beast mentality, who will come and hurt you, dismember you, all of that. And you know what? You know who you're going to need help from? If you have a man who is willing to stand up and protect you from such, they will. A man is less likely to come into a house where he knows that there are men or men there than when you're there by yourself as a woman. You understand? So men have purpose. And they're not all these men just, they're not all these low lives walking around not taking care of their responsibilities. Those men that did that, that was their character. That was who they are as individuals. That's that. That's right. There are men that they will be providers so long as they're still married to you, so long as they are in a relationship with you. And then if you, they're going to provide for their children, but once you are no longer together, they won't provide for their children because that man is is that has a lot to do with his character not him being a man but who he is he's irresponsible he is compartmentalized and the same can happen with women okay guys so basically as i'm saying to just wrap up this video is it all boils down to the character of said individuals there are people who will abandon their children men who does that because they're no longer in relationships with the mother. And there are also women who, they will abandon their children too. So, or what they will do is, just as men may walk away from their families, okay, there are women who, when they're no longer with a man, they don't give him access to his children anymore. They begin to use the children as a way to get to him or to say they are mine. Okay, because that's one of the things that was brought up about how a man, as long, so long as he possesses uh, a person or has possesses property and things and his woman or family, as long as he feels like he's in possession of said things, then he is going to be a provider and he's going to be there. But once that is relinquished and once that is no more, then he no longer cares. He don't want to protect anymore. Well, the same thing can happen that women are happy and taking pictures with the fathers and all the stuff. They're all about family until the relationship ends, whether he cheats or whether they get divorced, whether they're not together anymore. Said women can begin to deny the father access to the children because she's mad and she's hurt. She's angry that he cheated on her. It is said that he cheated on you, but that has nothing to do with his relationship with his children. The only time any woman would have to protect her children is a father who is negligent, a father who does not protect his children in the sense of a father who causes harm, a father who has endangered the children, a father who plays 
you know, who, who does things that could be psychologically damaging to the children by not being responsible. Let's say he's a father that is absent and then reappears and absent and reappears or disappoints the children and don't show up or skips town. Those type of things, yes, as a mother, you have to make decisions to protect your children from that type of experience. Otherwise, your children will grow up chasing relationships that are up, down, high, low, and not uh, not stable. You understand what I'm saying? But in any way, if we really go through the layers, whether you're male or female, you're capable of doing things that's wrong. Okay, we can examine the behaviors of, of women. We can say men are not protectors and providers and they're not naturally this, but then men may have a different argument. And there are plenty of channels with men who speak about these things. But my whole takeaway from it is once any creator begins to say all men, all women, and they just say it in general, a lot of times you cannot follow that. And so I don't agree with that sentiment at all. Everyone is uh, is free to have their own opinion. If you have your own opinion, feel free to comment down below on it. Just keep it respectful. But I just personally believe that anyone who seems to be like they hate a specific group of, of people or they're saying all, it is because they, they've just had enough, they're done, and it's because of their own personal experiences why they are so general in their descriptions. All right, guys, talk to you guys soon and goodbye.